I went. went. Hi, how are you? Hallie, I wore my unicorn sweater. Oh my goodness. Thank I you. I want that. That's awesome. That's amazing. Homemade. DIY. DIY. Oh, no way. Awesome. Yes. Halloween costume two years in a row now. Oh yeah. my goodness. You want to explain to me why you had to be picked up at the jailhouse today? So talk about, you know, writing for Melinda, that's your character, versus playing her. You know, did you always have yourself in mind for this character? Uh, yeah, we kind of, uh, it was kind of understood that I was going to be playing that part when we wrote the script. Um, it was just trying to find a place for her to fit into this movie that made sense for the rest of the movie. You know what I mean? Instead of being, just being like a thing for me to do, how does she serve as an obstacle for Michael Miller, the the young protagonist and his quest to be the person he wants to be and live the life he wants to live. And she's just a major obstacle in his way. And get a job. You get a job. With the 20th anniversary of Lizzie McGuire coming up in January, do you have a message or anything you'd like to say to the fans who continue to support you in the series? Well, that I hope that if they love feel good, feel good shows and feel good movies that the last champion would be um, even though I'm not maybe the Joe McGuire nurturing kind of mom, the story of The Last Champion is is very inspirational and it's a feel good movie. And there's some eye candy in this movie for the Leslie McGuire fans. Well, your dreams are out there. They're all out there. Let's go get them. Well, thank you all so much for your time. I also wanted to say really quick thank you for naming a character Wit, which is my name. Yes, we I never say that. We were very excited when we heard Good your name. name. I never, I never hear that in movies. So thank you, and of course, Hallie, thank you for being a big part of my childhood. Oh, so. you're very welcome. My pleasure. Right. <laughs> See you later. Thank Bye, you. Wit. Bye. Bye. Well, it's never too late for a comeback. That's the message of The Last Champion, a new family sports drama about redemption and second chances. We recently spoke with the film's cast and creative team, including my favorite Yellowstone's Cole Hauser and Lizzie McGuire's Hallie Todd. Take a look at this. You were in the Olympics, right? Thrown out. Yes, I was. In The Last Champion, Let's go! a disgraced Olympic athlete, a shattered soul who doesn't know what's up and down any longer and how he climbs from the ashes of life. Becomes a respected high school wrestling coach. Life's weird, huh? It can be a tough opponent for sure. Not only teaches him physically how to, you know, wrestle, but also what's what's here mentally. It's a comeback story, years in the making. We went through a lot of drafts. We went through 17 different drafts to get it exactly right. Just ask the family with writing, directing, and acting credits in the movie. You know, it's just been, it's been a long process, but we're all, we've been just so committed to this and we care so deeply. You want to explain to me why you had to be picked up at the jailhouse today? Best known for Disney Channel's Lizzie McGuire, Hallie Todd now plays a different kind of mother. Then get a job. You get a job! Even though I'm not maybe the Joe McGuire nurturing kind of mom, the story of The Last Champion is is very inspirational and it's a feel-good movie. And there's some eye candy in this movie for the Leslie McGuire fans. You have got a thoroughbred in Michael Miller. And star Cole Hauser has good news for his Yellowstone fans, too. Still got that Americana vibe, you know, the, the whole film does. Right, let's go finish! Finish strong! Come on, let's go! The Last Champion may look like a sports film, but the cast and crew say that's only a backdrop for this inspirational drama. You know, it's a movie about family. It's about, you know, faith, love, friendship, and then ultimately redemption. You know, second chances, that's what this movie is about. And this guy gets a second chance that he has to decide how he's going to handle it. Count Me In, The Last Champion is available now on iTunes and video on demand. Daytime, we'll be right back.